It was on this day in 1948 that President Truman declared that all members of the armed services would have equal treatment and opportunity regardless of race, color, religion, or national origin. Transgender service members say they deserve the same. Here's Jerika Duncan. I've done 11 deployments, including five strategic deterrent patrols. Lieutenant Commander Blake Dreeman served in Afghanistan in 2011. Two years later, he started transitioning from female to male. Today's tweets by President Trump worry him. This does impact me absolutely personally. Transgender people are already serving in various aspects of the military honorably, and uh, they've shown no impact to readiness or uh, the lethality of our mission. Civil rights and veterans groups reacted with outrage. The Transgender American Veterans Association said, we want to ensure that people know that right now this is a tweet, not an official policy. But organizations like Liberty Council, who've been calling for a reversal of the Obama-era policy, applauded the president for making America safe again. The military, according to founder and chairman Matt Staver, is a lethal weapon designed to protect America and our allies. It is not a social club, a social experimentation petri dish, or club med. Allison Jaslow is executive director for Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Is it disruptive to be transgender? Is it disruptive based on your own experience in the military? Does it matter? You know, I think honestly what's disruptive is sort of shoot from the hip policy making. Do the comments that President Trump made today set the transgender community back? I think that the comments that the president made today harm national security. We need soldiers in uniform. Once you put that uniform on, you're the same as anybody who's next to you. As for Dreamin, he says today's tweet shouldn't prevent any American from serving openly. I do want to say to the service members that are currently transitioning in the military, uh, continue to do what you're doing. The American Medical Association weighed in, saying there is no medically valid reason to exclude transgender individuals from military service. The AMA says people should be honoring their service, not trying to end it. Anthony? Jerika, thanks.